Yeah, I've seen kittens come out not much smaller than the little fella. Uh. But there's more of them mind. There's only one of him. <laughs> well, if you want to take an hour off to visit, I'm sure Declan won't mind. Yeah. He, he's not mine, you know. Yeah, I'd kind of imagined he wasn't. Oh. Well, I bet he's dead cute, even though he's a little midge. But then, I suppose all babies are cute, aren't they? Oh, I prefer kittens myself. How about you get off now, Sam? Yeah, all right, thanks. No worries. Hey, you want to fit a motor to that, you can go racing with Sandy. <laughs> Sam, bye. Oh, bye. See ya. Sorry. Where's Declan? Late back from his meeting. Trust me, I tried everything to keep him out of the office today. It's his baby, though, isn't it? So you heard him earlier, then? I don't know what you want me to say. Nothing to say? I'm positive he doesn't want to hurt you. Everybody keeps saying that. It's not about him hurting me. It's about what I'm doing to him. I don't think I can. What do you mean? Just make him sign his life away, knowing that he can never have the kid that he wants. What are you saying? I don't know. Just... Just... What I'm saying is maybe, you know, the kindest thing for me to do is, is go. Leave him. I'm looking for Mrs Birch. I've been to her house, but there's no sign. Oh, you're a friend of hers? It's the address my grandson gave me. Said some sweet old lady had taken him in. 